somehow Lucifer figured out how to get his spirits into physical bodies on this planet. I don't know exactly when it was done, but I can tell you, evil is born on this world. It is born evil, it grows up evil as a child, it is an evil young man, it is an evil adult. They enjoy hurting other people. Well, modern history, written by the victors, obviously, uh, people who have survived, who managed to put pen to paper and their observations have propagated, has, has observed that Earth for about 5,000 years was basically ruled by one man. I mean, not one, the same man for 5,000 years, but one man at a time ruled the world with wooden ships, with his armies. Uh, if you were born a baker to a baker, you were a baker. You didn't suddenly become an architect. You didn't become a scientist. You didn't go to Vienna and become a physicist. It just didn't happen. The sovereign decided what every being on the planet got or didn't get. That's the way it was. And the future was written down for us already. We had scripture, all kinds of scripture written all over the planet. And mostly, that's how people learn to read. They learn to read by being given the most printed books on the planet, which were these scriptures. And so they read about the future. They already knew that we were all going to march toward Armageddon. We were going to have this big battle and God was going to come down and split the Mount of Olives. Jesus was going to wipe out all the evil people. The good people were going to be taken up in the clouds and everybody was going to be burned to stubble. Everyone was looking forward to that day. But in 1770s, a group of men got together and said, basically, look, we already know that future. We've already read this future. It's supposed to be irrefutable. But they believed in their hearts that they could choose another future. So they got together and said, let's form a new government. We have this chance. We have this ocean between us. We're colonies. We can do what we want to do. Let's form a new nation that exists at our pleasure. And let's put it as its basis specific rights that are given to us, not from the king, but from God. And no one can take them away. Well, we fought a couple of wars over it, and we managed to squeak by. I don't know how, but we did. And now we have this amazing country that has changed the world. It's changing the universe. But that power that you talk about, that ruled this world for 5,000 years, they want it back. They want their world back, and they'll stop at nothing to get it. As I said, we've already fought wars. We've already lost millions of people, and they still have not won. Lucifer and his followers were originally in the Garden of Eden, separated from higher Adam. You'll recall this argument that Lucifer had with God after he was called out like, hey, what did you do to Eve? Eve immediately confesses, says, look, this is what happened. And so God said, all right, I'm going to try to clean up this mess. Here's what we're going to do. You're going to crawl on your belly for the rest of your days and eat dust. And that didn't sit too well. So he said, well, if you do that, if you curse me for the same thing that we do on every single world, then I'm gonna take all the bodies that you make for Adam and Eve, and I'm gonna possess them. And then God in the, in the Bible, in Genesis, takes this amazing step. He creates what he calls enmity. He says, I will put enmity between thee and the seed of the woman. He'll have power, you'll have power to bruise his heel, and he'll have power to crush your head. In other words, it's our choice as to whether you take us or not. But I'm saying somehow, you're right, somehow Lucifer figured out how to get his spirits into physical bodies on this planet. I don't know exactly when it was done, but I can tell you, evil is born on this world. 
It is born evil, it grows up evil as a child, it is an evil young man, it is an evil adult. They enjoy hurting other people. They receive elation out of death and rape and murder and pain. And that is what we're fighting in this world right now.